Welcome back guys. Today I'm working on a device that I dearly miss. I used to get like five or six of these every single week when uh, I first opened up my shop, but now not so much anymore. Why? Probably because uh, the market is really flooded with everybody um, advertising these services. Uh, and that's probably not reason number one, but also, you know, these flash drives are kind of not in the circulation anymore. These are old SanDisk cruiser flash drive 16 gig unit came in with broken connector i have a brand new connector here and a broken one so today i'm gonna be making this device uh, complete again and hopefully it will be as good as the original uh, i noticed that maybe our connectors are slightly different so if we install this one it won't retract as far as the original would so i will just use it without the shell now this is a very common problem for SanDisk uh, for several reasons. Reason number one is that its um, connector, the way it's designed, it's kind of like right on the line with these two cuts. I mentioned this in almost every single video about SanDisk. Um, right here and right here you guys see these two cuts to retain the PCB inside of the plastic housing that makes it a very flexible point and as we can see these two leads completely broken but these ones are still on so relatively this is a very fine repair very fine um, type of condition very very uh, good condition still I would say um, we will need a couple of things I need uh, a, a blade flux connector a little bit of jumper wire and um, we'll be done so here is my flux here is the solder that we're going to use and this is the connector we're going to use and the jumper wire i got on the roll uh, sitting behind the fume extraction nozzle so uh, the blade, the blade, the blade, the blade will help to scrape away the mask on these two leads. If we look at these leads, they broke off um, right here. So we don't necessarily have to, you know, clean them up. We can just run the jumper right to here, but it's no big deal. I'm just going to cut the floppy ones and scrape a little bit on the edge just enough to expose the copper trace that's gonna make it um, good for connection and tinning so tinning those is essential um, because that's gonna really help with attaching the wire to it afterwards so just add a little bit of flux I'm gonna also add flux to both of these pads and anchors anchors came out very clean i don't know this almost looks like the best case scenario for a broken connector this uh, connector right here i picked up a bunch of them on amazon i bought like 300 of them in the bag at some point and <laughs> believe it or not uh, i have maybe like a dozen left so that's how often they used to come in not anymore but I do definitely miss him and that's partially why I want to make this video guys to reminisce on the process of recovery of these units together. There is one, there is another one, I'm going to tin this. this and both of these also a bunch of solder is going to get dumped into the anchors this is a tiny tip but it's a really really powerful one even big ground planes like that are not a problem for it
flip her over, bend the wings in, There's one, there's two, and now we're just going to grab some wire and find a place where there's a little bit of flux left. There's one. And there is two. That's it guys, it's gonna work. Alright, so this can go into a, a port B on a DeepSpar USB stabilizer, the 10 gigabit version that I've been using recently. Gotta say, I'm very, very happy with the device control panel for uh, DeepSpar. So uh, we're gonna cho choose channel B, say yes. Up here in the log, I'm gonna power on the unit. We're gonna see the capacity come up, 15 gigs. So register the case. <clears throat> We're gonna call it I'm just gonna start a brand new um, window without any channels. Fire up data extractor. New task, I'm just gonna call it 16 gigabytes and this cruiser. Select send this cruiser here and create a virtual disk for the target. And we can either clone the entire thing if we wanted to through um, execute command. You can see it's running quite well. Um, control panel, it's consuming this many milliamps, 12 megabytes speed. I think it's currently set up to a USB. It's set up to auto, but it's a USB 2 device, so I don't really expect it to run faster than that. Uh, or we could just go and get the whole file system out and look at the uh, use space properties of the device. Uh, use space by fat. We're gonna uh, see how much space is used. It's pretty much full. So I'm not gonna go through the chains. I'm just gonna image the entire thing. It's just gonna be easier that way. Um, and uh, quickly, we will have a full clone. So if you guys uh, need a USB flash drive uh, that has a broken connector fixed and uh, data recovered, uh, link in the description will take you to our website where you can request that service. So don't hesitate, click away, and we'll help you out. For those of you who are new to this channel, if you're interested in data recovery, this channel is all about that. Uh, definitely not just connector repair videos on here. There's a lot more complicated stuff uh, takes place on this channel. So welcome, sign up, join, and subscribe. Enjoy the videos. I'll see you all in the next one.